What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the game Godzilla, the series Monster Wars, which was released for the Game Boy Color as an exclusive by Crave and Crawfish Interactive. This game is a sequel to the other game, um, Godzilla, the series, also a Game Boy Color exclusive, and it's also based on off of the uh, short-lived uh, cartoon series uh, Godzilla which is um, based on the 1998 uh, Godzilla movie starring Metro Magic Matthew Broderick and the plot of the uh, game is that uh, aliens have created mutants on earth and Godzilla is on a mission to save earth from the monsters and stuff like that now um Pretty much the game has uh, 10 stages in it where you fight soldiers and military vehicles like uh, jeeps, fighter jets, and helicopters in different locations like uh, cities, deserts, and uh, underwater and stuff like that. Now, um, the bosses in the game are pretty much um, monsters and stuff, and they are pretty much consistent with the monsters that you will see in different... Um, Godzilla movies and stuff like that in the, within the franchise and stuff. Now the monsters you will fight will be uh, like uh, El Gucanos, um, Gigante, Zilla Jr., Nanotech Creature, Crypto. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this one all day. Crypto Cetus, something, something like that. The mutant giant squid. Crustaceous uh, Rex, pretty much like a um, C version of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, or might as well call it C Rex, you know what I'm saying? And um, a giant, um, another giant creature plus Cyberzilla, which is supposed to be a um, kind of um, uh, more advanced version of um, Godzilla and stuff. Now, um, Godzilla's attacks consist of like a fireball, tail, rip, bite, claw, stump, and flame, you know what I'm saying. Now, there's a crosshair in the game that allows you to, um, allows you to be more accurate while um, using one of Godzilla's attacks and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. And, um, you can also use, um, Godzilla's attacks to create a chain of combos and stuff like that. And I think the intention is to use those um, chain of combos against um, the bosses when you face off against them and everything. The game pretty much has an option menu and a, a password system. Pretty much the, in the uh, options, um, you can pretty much change the difficulty between part-timer, which is uh, the normal difficulty in uh, it probably, I think that's supposed to be on the man or in the man or something like that, which is the um, hard difficulty and stuff. You could pretty much change the, the number of lives you can use for Godzilla, whether it's three, five, or seven. You, plus, you could turn off the uh, mute, turn on or off the music and the effects. And pretty, and pretty much the password system is um, pretty much allows you to go to a specific stage. If you um, put in the right um, code and stuff like that for um, for st stages two through um, ten and stuff like that. Now the graphics and design um, for this game are pretty decent and it's, and it's pretty much consistent with the uh, cartoon show, you know, and all of that, and it has some nice color palette. But it didn't necessarily age well, you know, what I'm saying, especially with the um, with the uh, soldiers and stuff like that, you know, and stuff like that. Plus the um, the um, what's that? The the um, controls of gameplay are okay, but the um, the um, crosshairs pretty much comes off as unnecessary for Godzilla attack. I mean, why were I'll get why the crosshairs were really like necessary for this game considering that is that it is a, a platformer you know what i'm saying the majority of platformers that i play whether it's talk I'm, 
whether the game was released on the Super Nintendo, NES, or Sega Genesis. The crosshairs were were never included in stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And um, the soundtrack is pretty much forgettable at best. I guess it's it was something that you that you would hear on the guys in the cartoon show if you got a chance to watch it and stuff. Now, to be honest, um, Godzilla, the series Monster Wars, could have been a good game, but it just it just ended up being disappointing. Like the um, 1998 um, Godzilla movie with Matthew Matthew Broderick and stuff. As far as the score, I definitely give it a five out of ten. You know what I'm saying? There's better games to play on the Game Boy Color, in my opinion. You know. With that being said, sound off in the comment section about Godzilla, the series Monster Wars for Game Boy Color, whether you like it, you hate it, whether you enjoy it or not, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? If you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, signing off.